set shortly after Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars The Bad Batch is a sequel slash spin-off to The Clone Wars about an elite group of decommissioned clone troopers and the show will feature returning characters from The Clone Wars like Echo, Freedom Fighter Saw Gerrera, and Tarkin. And in case you want to brush up on things before you watch, we've got you covered. Hello there and welcome to Screen Rant, I'm Greg Elliott, and here is every episode of The Clone Wars you need to see before diving in to The Bad Batch. You can't do this to your squad. My squad? We're nothing but a bad batch. Failures. Now, since the Clone Wars wasn't exactly told in chronological order, we're gonna jump around a little bit here too. So, we'll start with the first episode of Season 3, Clone Cadets. This ep is the origin story for Echo, one of five clones being assessed on the planet Kamino, who are so difficult to control that they get deemed as well a bad batch. This episode also introduced Clone Trooper 99, a defective clone who works as a janitor on Kamino, and who will later become a war hero. And sticking to a loose chronological order, let's head back to Season 1, Episode 5, and then Season 3, Episode 2, titled Rookies and Arc Troopers. There would be no Bad Batch without this two-part story, which sees the Separatists launch an unsuccessful attack where Echo is stationed on the Rishi Moon, and he's later inducted into the 501st Legion for his service. But the real hero of the day was Clone Trooper 99, who, while he died, proved that even supposedly defective clones can be valuable. 99, you can't! I'm a soldier, like you! This is what I was bred for. Fast forwarding to the end of Season 3 in Episodes 18 through 20, The Citadel, Counterattack, and Citadel Rescue, Anakin and the 501st try to free a group of high-ranking prisoners from a Separatist prison, one of whom just so happens to be a young pre-moff, Wilhuff Tarkin who has intelligence he needs to pass on to the Chancellor himself. The rescue is a success and Echo is believed to have been killed, but we'll later find out that that wasn't actually the case. Now on to Season 5, Episodes 2 through 5, A War on Two Fronts, Front Runners, The Soft War, and Tipping Points, which together tell the origin story of Saw Gerrera, who if you haven't seen The Clone Wars, you should at least remember from Rogue One. In addition to Rogue One, Saw was also in the novel Catalyst and four episodes of Star Wars Rebels, and we'll now be seeing more of his younger days in The Bad Batch. I'm fighting for you and everyone else not to lose what they've got, and I won't apologize for how I do it. And if you really want to see The Bad Batch in action, you definitely need to check out the first four episodes of Season 7, the aptly titled The Bad Batch, A Distant Echo, On the Wings of Kiridax, and Unfinished Business. These episodes introduce Clone Force 99, who name themselves after Clone Trooper 99, as they work with Anakin to track a Separatist intelligence source, who actually turns out to be Echo, who's not dead, but been transformed into a cyborg and plugged into the Separatist command systems. At the end of it all, though, Echo is rescued and joins the Bad Batch. And although they don't really feature any of the main characters, you'll probably want to revisit the last four episodes of Season 7. Old Friends Not Forgotten, The Phantom Apprentice, Shattered, and Victory and Death, which run concurrently to Revenge of the Sith and tell the story of Order 66 from the Clone Troopers' perspective, something that'll probably come to play in the show. Under this directive, any and all Jedi leadership must be executed for treason against the Republic. Understood? Yes, sir! So in total, there are 18 episodes you really should see to get caught up. Season 3, Episode 1, Season 1, Episode 5, and then Season 3, Episode 2, and 18 to 20, Season 5, Episodes 2 through 5, then Season 7, Episodes 1 to 4, and 9 to 12. The series is set in a time period that hasn't been explored much in canon, and it'll no doubt go into how the Republic became the Empire, and Clone Force 99 could easily cross paths with people like Bail Organa, Mon Mothma, or even Ahsoka Tano. And as always, we'll be here to keep you in the know on everything going on in a galaxy far, far away. So make sure to come back to us for more on everything Star Wars The Bad Batch. I'm Greg Elliott. Thank you for watching Screen Rant, and may the Force be with you.